Welcome back to the second AECN online chemistry classroom lesson. Today we're going to be drawing atoms and writing their electron arrangement. So let's get into it. In the last video, we looked at the information we can get from the periodic table. The link to that video is in the comments below. So let's look at lithium again. Its atomic number is three, meaning that it has three positive protons. In its nucleus. Its mass number is seven, so that means it has a total of seven protons and neutrons combined. As three of these seven are protons, that means the other four must be neutrons. You won't need to work out the number of neutrons in your exam, but the neutrons are an important part of an atom. And it is easy to work out once you know how. So I always include how to work out the number of neutrons. Now, when we look at lithium, it is in period two. So because it's in period two, that means that it has two shells. Now its atomic number is three. So that means as an atom, it has three electrons as well. So the first shell of an atom can fit a maximum of two electrons. So when we're drawing our electrons, we always fill up from the innermost shell or the shell closest to the nucleus and then move outwards. So the inner shells always fill up first before the outer shells. So we're going to draw our two electrons in lithium and that's going to be in the first shell. So now the first shell is full. Lithium has three electrons meaning there's still one more electron and that now is going to go in the second shell because the first shell is full. If we go back to the periodic table we see that lithium is in group one which means that it has one valence electron and when we match that up to our diagram for lithium we see it also has one valence electron, so we know we are correct. Now we are going to look at sulfur. So sulfur has an atomic number of 16, and it has an atomic mass of 32. So because its atomic number is 16, that means it has 16 protons, and its atomic mass is 32. 32 minus 16, we can see that it also has 16 neutrons. So sulfur is in period three, and this means that it has three shells. All right, so we know that sulfur has 16 protons. So as an atom, sulfur has 16 electrons as well. So we're going to draw the first two electrons in the first shell because the electrons always fall from the inner shell first through to the valence shell. So now two of our 16 electrons are in the first shell. We still have 14 electrons left. So we are going to put eight in the second shell. So a maximum of eight electrons fits in the second shell. Okay, so now we have 10 of the 16 electrons placed. The second shell has eight in it, so it is full. So now we are going to place our next six in the outer shell. So these are our valence electrons. So now we have drawn all 16 electrons and we have six valence electrons. If we go back to the periodic table, we see that sulfur is in group 16 but we ignore the one in front of the 16. So we say sulfur is in group six, 
meaning that it has six valence electrons. So now we will look at the electron arrangement for atoms. Now the electron arrangement is a short way of showing how many electrons an atom has and how many electrons are in each shell without having to draw all the circles. If we have a look here at sulfur, we see that it has two electrons in its first shell. So what we do is we put two to show that in the first shell there are two. And then we write a comma. And the comma means, all right, it's the next shell. So now, because there's a comma, we are looking at our second shell. And in our second shell, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. So we write the eight. And now we're on to the electrons in our third shell. So we need another comma to show we're now talking about a different shell. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in the outer shell. So when we write our electron arrangement, we have the symbol for the atom. And then we have how many electrons in the first shell, so the shell closest to the nucleus. And then we work our way out so that our valence electrons are the last ones written. And we place a comma between each number to show that it's a different shell. So if we go back to lithium, we see that it has two electrons in its first shell. A comma to show now we're looking at a different shell, so the second shell, and it has one electron in its outer shell. So the electron arrangement for lithium is 2, 1. Hopefully you are now more confident drawing atoms and writing their electron arrangements. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below, or you can join our Facebook group, and the link to that is in the description.